hello everyone welcome to my channel my name is tony h and welcome to tony's corner and if you're new here please don't forget to subscribe like make a comment and also hit the notification bell for all the new updates anyway thank you very much for those who are subscribing and those who are making good comments I love you guys thank you for supporting me well today um well i haven't been back for a while because i've not been really feeling very well but not to worry it's not no big deal i was just down maybe it's the weather and the weather or i don't know and also the situation right now everyone is just getting so low 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 but anyway let's keep positive keep pushing Today I'm coming up with a very random video as you know that my contents are around you know lifestyle you know nature and all that so today as my normal routine uh, I went out for my walk my usual walk or run or skip or jump so and um, I was almost on my way back home had gone in maybe almost one and a half hours and i was you know trying to maybe walk for more than like half an hour then i get back so and then i bumped into a dog walker and um immediately i saw him i saw that he had a, this big biggest dog massive and uh, when i walked past him i realized that he didn't even take notice of me because he was busy concentrating on the phone as usual, you know, and the dog was walking behind him and he wasn't on a lead and it was this biggest dog that everyone will be blown away because it was scary bit. So as I walked past him, I walked like almost maybe 10 minutes and then I realized there's something coming with very strong footsteps i thought maybe somebody was joking or something to look behind before i realized within the split second um i was carrying a bottle of water and and the dog just grabbed it off me and uh, but it didn't bite me it just i just felt something very strongly pulling my arm so i then dropped the water and then he just trashed the bottle into pieces and they start leaking the water off the floor or concrete and so what i did i was so baffled i didn't know what to do but as i stood there i stood there put i didn't move or anything because i was so scared and after it finished that it, st it sat there and started staring in my face like i couldn't make i couldn't move anything each time i tried to like move a leg he's, as if he was gonna jump on me and this dog was real massive massive dog it must have been this very expensive dog with beautiful fun or hair or something so and uh, <clears throat> as i stood there I'm, I'm just counting on this man to come back i'm sure he's missing his dog and then almost i was into like 10 12 minutes waiting and the dog is sitting there looking at me with very cross eyes cross eyes i saw i said my god what is gonna happen so i was praying and i saw him coming like he walking very fast and he's screaming at the dog but the dog didn't even move he just sat there and kept looking at me and then he screamed again like three four times then i think he got scared and then walked towards him and then he took a lid out of his jacket and put it on and i'm thinking my god i think maybe initially that was what he should have done before you know walking the dog so but he apologized he said um the dog that that dog had never done anything like that he's very sorry i said that's fine and then they walked off and then i stayed there for almost maybe another three minutes just in the same place i was sh shaking like a leaf completely drained i didn't know what to do but then i said maybe uh, i should walk back home 
so then I decided to walk towards home and I'm thinking I kept thinking about this this was an incident that would have happened without an eyewitness because I wasn't able to reach because I had my phone inside my my jacket and the zip was on and each time I tried to move my arm and the dog was just staring at me with like he wants to jump on me like I don't know this dog I don't know if it wanted some water or you know dogs are very funny or wanted to play with me I don't know it was just I got confused so and I'm thinking that if this dog had done something, I was not able to call my family, my children, that something happened to me. I didn't have an eyewitness. So, but those are one of the things that can happen when you are least expected. So I just say, okay. And I walked off and, um, and I'm thinking about the owner of the dog that, you know, if the dog, if you're walking your dog and the dog hurts someone or maybe pushes an elderly person on the concrete and they injure their head or break a hip, you be encountering a big bill coming, you know, to your door, you know, because you have to take care of the bills for medical treatment. And also I'm thinking if like if you're you if it hurts someone beyond like it depends on the you know, how much harm it has done to another dog maybe or to a baby in a push chair you might be looking at a prison sentence or you might be looking at community work so it's your choice anyway my advice today is you love your dog please put a lid on your dog don't let the dog intimidate other people you know everyone there is locked down they need to come out and have some fresh air so let's use the personal space you know like if you have a dog don't let it run loose everywhere just because you think you you own a dog and no one should say but i'm not talking down to anyone like if you go out there and you've trained your dog because you know what you don't know that a dog is an animal and it has an animal instinct that doesn't at least one percent uh, DNA that doesn't understand things completely and one day it's going to snap and harm. Every day we hear news every day an animal, the owner of you know, animal, uh, wild animals or reptile has snapped and killed the owner even dogs, but all I know is dogs are usually the, the risk is very minimal because dogs um um have been living with human beings for a long time so they are best friends so but if you look you love your animal maybe your family depends on it you need to look after it because i know that um there are animals like dogs that are being kept indoors without you know they don't take them for treatment sometimes when they 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 feel maybe they are sick then they can take the anger to some, on somebody else and harm them or harm another dog. If it harmed another dog, you have to pay for, you know, the owner or compensate something, depending on the injury. So, well, that's why I'm thinking dogs have lived with human beings, especially in England, almost three million families own a, a pet of some some kind from uh, yapping dogs to clacking hens or reptile or anything birds you know um, snakes so but it depends on how you're gonna treat your animal or your re your pet you know respecting other people's space especially out there anyway as you know that I told you that um an animal like a dog is a best man's friend they've lived with animals for ages so look after it take it to the pet if they are uh, not well um you, they will show you signs they might start biting other animals like uh, small dogs they might be attacking or sometimes they'll be winging they'll be you know morning in the house sometimes they won't be able to eat they they get you know withdrawn that is a sign that they are not feeling well but 
then you have to go and face that bill. That's the beauty of owning a, <laughs> a pet. Then you have to take it. In England, is is by law. You have a dog, you have a pet. You need to take it to the pet surgery or whatever surgeon to look after it in case it has other diseases like rabies because if it bites someone, you know, or they can treat it from anything because they also eat, the animals also are like, you know, a dog has basic needs like human beings. So they also give birth, they also love, they also eat, they need fresh air, you know, they they have they are getting they get emotional when their you know maybe young ones die or their families die or if they are being mistreated so don't mistreat your dog if you don't want the dog just give away to is it how they call it the organization here that looks after and uh, all the pets in England um I'm talking from it um experience because i once owned a dog and i loved it It was a jack russell's so that's why i didn't have to react so much towards this dog and i don't know how much potential it had to bite me or anything but i don't think it would have done that because i believe the owner has trained it that's where the problem comes as you think that you've trained it and then it's gonna hurt someone anyway Sorry for those that didn't like a uh, conversation because they own dogs and they usually walk their dogs without um, the leads. But please, my advice is walk with the lead, put the lead on so that you don't have to encounter things like that. Anyway, and anyone who want to come in the comment section and to write if you've ever had an experience like mine, like you bumped into a dog because you're scared and you know you screamed yeah you can come if you're a dog lover you can always come in. i know many people love animals yeah anyway thank you very much and um yeah hope to see you in the next video very soon and i'm well i'm alive and kicking we enjoy more videos and thank you for subscribing and take care love bye